Next, I'd like to introduce our homeowner, Dave Sweat with Real World HVAC, and just kind of get his idea of, from a homeowner's perspective, exactly what he's looking for, what he, what he wanted to do in accomplishing building an energy efficient house. Well, thanks, James. Yeah. Uh, this really has been a, a lifelong dream of uh, my wife, Laura, and I to uh, retire in a home that's energy efficient. I've been involved in the utility industry, the public power utility industry for over 30 years. Uh, and have uh, done consulting work for our customers and trade allies, uh, primarily in the area of energy efficiency. And uh, my specialty is HVAC and ventilation. So um, when we started talking about uh, building an energy efficient home, I wanted to apply some of the things that uh, you and I both learned in the energy rating world. And uh, uh, we started looking for um, contractors that were inclined to build along those high efficiency guidelines somewhere beyond Energy Star and, and approaching net zero. What we found was that those folks don't exist. It's a little bit early on in the industry for uh, finding uh, contractors that are number one comfortable changing their processes at all to embrace energy efficiency and secondly uh, they, they worry about liability when you start doing things differently than what they're used to doing and traditionally those things that have worked for them. So um, I talked with utility representatives in this general area, culling through their list of contractors and asking those folks who have personal working relationships with those folks on a daily basis if they had candidates that would be uh, up for that kind of a challenge. and. To cut to the chase, make a long story short, uh, there weren't any. The important part and, and a big topic of it too is it's not just a builder, but it's all the trades and the education on down the pipeline. I mean, Framer, if your Framer's been framing for forever, there's a way he likes to do it and taking someone and showing them, not that it's wrong and this is the right way to do it and this is the wrong way to do it, but this is a better way to do it. Yeah. Like we always used to say and like uh, my predecessor Mike has always said is we're always improving our product. Well, that takes it's taking the conversation with the with your framer and saying we need to do this, this, and this. It's taking our insulator and walking them through the home and educating them on different houses. And one of the nice part, and that's what we learned being a raider, is that we can actually test and see what we're doing. We're not going off a checklist and saying, did you do these things? We can actually come back afterwards with a blower door, with a thermal camera, or with a duct blaster and make sure that they did what we said we were gonna do. Well, this whole thing really from, from the beginning has been about home performance. And we've talked at length about um, how important it is that we start helping the trades understand that there are mechanical systems, structural systems, service systems that all interact and, and they can create problems for each other and it makes diagnostics inside the house uh, a lot more complex than it used to be. Yeah. So getting to a point where they have a, a good understanding of building science as, as applies to their craft but also as applies to their ability to do diagnostics is a big deal. But for most builders, all this technical stuff, they can either learn it but to protect, not, not even to protect the homeowner, that's a bad way to say it, but it would be important that if you're trying to do any kind of a high performance home is that you would have higher an energy rater along the, along the way. Um, one, he can take your plans and analyze exactly how the house is going to use energy from the beginning. I mean, just like we did on your houses. Yep. We know what the load is going to be on this house. We know everything that's going to happen to this house before we even build it. Right. But to, wait, to make sure that that happens, the performance part of it is, is that a third party comes in and makes sure that the walls are built like our plan was. You know, the walls that we are determining our, man, our loads were on is it was built that way. That how tight the house was, we have someone that's doing a blower door test to give us third party validation that that got done. And on top of that testing though, is they can, you can partner with your energy rater that can help along the way, you know, come in and do some different inspections along the way if you don't feel comfortable as the homeowner or as the builder. You know, either parties could, or you could go in and, and pay a rater together just to make sure you have a third party whose expertise is energy efficiency in the way systems work to be able to, to do that. Because you pointed another huge thing out is, you know, each trade comes in here separately, but all of them, how our house works as a system, actually are interchangeable. So uh, it, it has always been about education and it remains uh, an education focus for, for me and for you too on the building construction side. And I'm hoping that's one of the the other deliverables that we can bring to the table by completing this project the way we know it needs to be completed.